back with another video on are black women protected or are we just whining? But before we get into it, follow me on Instagram at India underscore underscore Michelle and Snapchat India.94 and let's get to it. Child, let me go ahead and try this espresso. Child. <laughs> mm. God damn, this should need about 10 more sugars. But anyway, um, I'm here to do the whole video on are black women protected? Or are we just whining? Um, are we just being stupid just to be stupid? Or are we just basically just want flat out attention? And the reason I'm doing this is the whole thing of Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez with that tired ass fucking story. And on top of that, again, with Cardi B and Offset ass and him cheating on her like left and right. Now, even though I'm talking about the two ladies, um, I'm talking about them, but I'm also just listening to the video. I want you to either grasp what I'm saying, like how just as a whole black women are just being foolish on, you know, the Cardi B situation and just basically this whole outcry and just OD beating uh, people over the head with this black women not protected, black women not protected shit with the whole Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez. Now, Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez, we all know since freaking July of this year um, that Tory Lanez supposedly had shot Megan in both her feet. Um, and this whole thing she came out with on Saturday night, Saturday night, night live. Um, I believe that that's what she did it on. And it was a good video about black women not protected and how we, and then one thing I, I was kind of side out of her with it, but then she also said at the back end, you know, we need to protect black women and we need to protect black men. So I did like that. But this whole thing of black women not being protected shit, Again, it's beating a goddamn dead horse, ladies. Um, this whole thing where black men don't protect you, crap, it's like, stop. No, nah, ma'am. It's a lot of, it's, it, you can't blame some dusty niggas that shit on you as black men as a whole, not protecting black women. Because to... On the, on the on the defense of the black man, how many black women as a whole just go out and just protect black men? We do, but uh, you do have your little stragglies where it's just like, oh, fuck black men. I'm about to start uh, fucking with white men shit, that bed went shit. So, I'm, so it's basically the same thing. You can't say, oh, black women not protected, but then on the flip end, you want to say, oh, fuck black niggas, they ain't shit, I'm about to mess with me a white man, but then want to come back to the black man when you get all top calls, or when you get called all types of nigga bitches from the white man or from whoever. So it's kind of like, uh, uh, you kind of have to be a little fair with that when it comes to the whole white, black women are not being protected. And... To the, also to defend, to defend the whole black women not uh, being protected, I will say this. Um, it's kind of a thing where black women have this thing of we supposed to be a strong black woman. We supposed to take it. We supposed to just bow down and just get along to get along. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. It's a thing where I even hear, oh, well, you got to add it. Even, even for myself, oh, you got an attitude problem. And it's like, if I sit here and put a smile on my face, I'm being fake. If I express myself and I'm venting, I'm being angry or being difficult or I'm crazy. And it's like, God damn, like, damn if you do, damn if you don't type of thing, you know? And it does get a little frustrating and a little tired when you hear other groups and especially black men 
always just hounding on black women. And it's like, and I'm gonna do a video. I know I always say, I'm gonna do a video. I'm gonna do it. It's so much ideas in my head on the videos I wanna put out, but I am gonna put it out. But it's this whole thing of what damn black men, especially the ones that always say we this and we that, you act as if your shit don't stink. You act as if when you're mad and you're pissed that you don't get the same treatment uh, as the angry black man, the difficult black man. You can't talk to him for nothing. So it's like we kind of have to end that shit on both ends. But the whole thing, I don't think black women are not protected. I just feel like black women, y'all put this whole not all black women, but certain black women, you come off as this whole uh, image about you that people can't relate or want to respect, but then you want respect. For instance, if I'm sitting here, titties out, and I'm gonna throw Megan Thee Stallion in this, and I like Megan Thee Stallion, but if I'm sitting here with my titties out, ass out, fuck these niggas, we gonna get this money from these niggas and laying on our back and all this city girl type bullshit. Men gonna be like, okay, I don't want that ghetto ratchet shit. Now, black men, y'all like a little splash of ratchet, but when it's like OD, you like, no ma'am, you know man, <laughs> like, you can have that. I'd rather go to Becky or Maria, who is not going to give me the headache, and yeah, and they do, huh, catch. But I'd rather deal with that than to deal with this bullshit, you know? So I kind of feel from both sides where that's coming from. Now, what I really, really want to get at is Cardi B. Cardi B, Cardi B, Cardi B. Cardi B know exactly what she's doing. This whole thing of, oh, um, we're getting a divorce because we don't see eye to eye. We're getting mad. Um, we're arguing too much and blah, say, blah, say, blah, say. It's kind of like, sweetie, you married your fuck buddy. That's not your husband, sweet. That's not a husband. You married some country ass nigga from Georgia and you thought she was doing something. And Funky Dineva, he made a point of, damn girl, you think so low of yourself that he can buy you a Rolls Royce and you can just take him back. And he made a point because it's like everyday people, and I'm not saying this right or do that, but everyday people, if somebody wants to come to us with a range with an apology and they apologizing with the uh, Rolls Royce, I, we can kind of see an average everyday person be like, okay, I'll take that. Not saying this right or, or to do that, but we can, but you know, we can understand. But somebody that's like Cardi B, you know what I'm saying? Like you came from the strip club, from the Bronx, from that street life, that project shit to love and hip hop, then you elevate it even more to now you're like a hot rapper. Like you're on the scale of like Nicki Minaj, like Beyonce even like recognized you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, what the fuck do you mean that, oh, he gave me a Rolls Royce. I have to take it. You better talk to him before I do because I'm hurt of feelings. You don't have to take it. You just like... It's just like with women, we have this whole thing of where we, we're we so insecure within ourselves and not acknowledging why we're insecure and it's chucking it up as, well, this is how my homegirls grew up. This is how my mom, she showed me this shit. So I think this is normal for a dude to sit here and cheat on me over and over and over again because I'm comfortable. And it's like, after a while, being comfortable becomes, un it should become uncomfortable. You should become, like, disgusted which within yourself. Like, no, like, I need, I need more than just a Rolls Royce. I need more than just you putting up a billboard saying, oh, culture said happy birthday, mommy. Like, if, like I said in my previous videos about the whole cheating thing, once you take them bullshit ass gifts and you take him back like that, 
he loses respect for you. As soon as he comes back into Cardi, where well, he already in, he never left. Um, as soon as he comes back into Cardi B's life, uh, he's going to do it again. I, it's one of those things. Wait until after the holidays and Valentine's Day roll around, they're going to have something else. And one thing, uh, another YouTuber that uh, Love Your Natural, she wasn't speaking on their situation, but it was an old, like a, around February, she put out a video of moving in silence. Cardi B. And like I also said about the whole Tony Braxton, if you gon if you're not gonna do nothing, let that man cheat in peace. We as your people, everyday people, whether it's your fans or people that's just being a bystander looking into your situation, sweetie, nobody is going to keep bashing fucking offset if you're gonna keep taking him back. It's gonna be to the point where it's like, okay, we bashing this nigga. But then we also going to be kind of looking at you like, God damn, girl, like the dick ain't that damn good. Having a man under you isn't that fucking serious. Bitch, you're Cardi B. You're Cardi B. You can get. It's not like you on the love and hip hop type of status no more. I can see that when you was fucking with Tommy and he's locked up and all that bullshit. But now you're Cardi B. Like you may offset hot. Wasn't nobody looking at no fucking offset. People was looking at fine, juicy, pussy, eating lips, Quavo. Not no goddamn offset. So you made him pop. And it's your movement is if you, he made you pop. Okay? You acting as if, like, you need him. Bitch, he needs you. And I'm not saying because I'm a woman and all that shit. But he needs you. To make him relevant. Okay. Why do you think people was even listening to his shit in the first place? People were saying Takeoff was the artist. And really, it's really Offset that's the artist. But people wasn't checking for you. So, if you're going to keep... I, I'm just not getting it. Like, after a while, you cheating on the girl. I'm pretty sure you're going to get tired of Cardi B. Like, you're going to... It's going to become to the point like she's predictable. Their whole relationship is predictable. And like I said, what, what I was trying to get at is, bitch, move in silence. If you know you're going to take this man back, don't keep putting out that you're going to divorce him. And then he going to come on stage and talk about some, oh, I miss car, I mean, culture and being home. And nigga, it's, it's, it's so convenient that you're doing this around the holidays when it's cuddling season. But wait until... Valentine's Day, and when it hits spring, oh yeah, he gonna be on it. I swear I need to put like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more sugars because this shit is bitter in this teeny ass cup. Mm, bitter. But anywho, um, not trying to make this video too long, but that's basically what I, how I, view it as Cardi B has this whole thing where she's used to project shit and that's all she knows that strip club you can even see it in her music videos even when she's talking she speaks with so much emotions she just wants to be loved she just wants this she just wants that Megan Thee Stallion too she wants you know her parents passed away so she doesn't really have too much guidance on Who's really her friend? Who's not really her friend? You know? And both ladies just have this thing of... Main, excuse me. Mainly Cardi B of just having low self-esteem. And I'm not, you know, trying to tear them down because I have my own self-esteem issues. But it's to the point where you start growing... And when, when you start letting bad, negative bullshit, like this, just detox your body. Like I said in my previous uh, video, detox your body from negative energy, negative people, negative uh, people that don't mean you no type of harm, but pretend like they really give two fucks about you when they really don't. Okay. Let them deal with their own issues and you deal with yours and you boss up that way. Don't preach about, oh, I'm a boss and I'm this and that, but you're allowing a nigga to sit here and shoot you in the foot. 
and dragging this shit along for months and months and months. Cardi B, you speaking this be careful of me bullshit song, but then you're taking a nigga like Cardi, I mean, uh, Offset back. And then, too, you're supposed to be moving like a bad bitch. You this bad bitch with this wop. But then you sit here getting your face altered to basically look like the bitches that he cheated on you with. Them two bras that he didn't fuck with at that strip club. And now she's facing, still facing those charges over some stripper bitches. And you're Cardi B. Girl, make it make sense. And it's like I said, so much videos. I always say, oh, I'm going to do a video. And I am because I always look back on and I write down all the videos I want to do and talk about. But we need to get off this whole black women are not protected and take accountability of our own actions and just basically help help hold ourselves to a higher standard. Okay. Oh, and another thing. That whole thing with that motherfucker in the background talking about some black love, black love. Those don't listen to niggas like that. Because first of all, Cardi B don't even identify herself as black, even though that's a whole other story with them Dominican motherfuckers. But that ain't black love. We shouldn't normalize black love with cheating and negative. Black love should be positive. Okay. Let me also put that out there. Black love shouldn't just be on some infidelity and you getting on live talking shit. No. Mm -mm. It's supposed to be healthy. Yes, y'all have y'all problems, but y'all just bounce, you know, y'all still as a unit are one, y'all whole. But yes, that's, uh, I'm going to end it right there. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about this video. Leave at the bottom on other videos that y'all want me to talk about. And then also leave a comment on how you feel about the whole Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez and Cardi B and Offset and just women having this whole thing of we're not protected and that bullshit and um, how we should carry ourselves so we can be protected by black men. And I love my black brothers. Um, so, and I love my black sisters. So we should glorify us moving together as one and not being divided because society always divides us and we shouldn't, we shouldn't play it on that bullshit. Um, so yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to talk, follow my socials at India underscore underscore Michelle on Instagram and Snapchat India.94. Until next time with another video, I see you next time. Bye bye. Oh yeah, let me go ahead and get some of these cheesy ribs that I'm about to eat and these shots that I'm about to take back. But bye bye.